Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at squirrel play from Logic 1, and this is the Java solution. The problem states, the squirrels in Palo Alto spend most of the day playing. In particular, they play if the temperature is between 60 and 90 inclusive. Unless it is summer, then the upper limit is 100 instead of 90. Given an int temperature and a boolean is summer, return true if the squirrels play and false otherwise. And we see here, if we have 70 for temp, and false for a summer, we get true, because that's within the range of 60 and 90. If we have 95 and false, meaning it's not summer, um, this returns false, because we see that it's outside that range of 60 to 90 inclusive. In the last example, if we have 95 and true, meaning it is summer, that returns true, because in the summer, our range is 60 to 100. So this problem is just a few steps. That's two steps. Step one is figure out if it is summer or not, and then step two is write a return statement based on the range of temp, right? Because we have this parameter temp, which is an integer representing the temperature, and we have this parameter is summer, which is a boolean. So, you know, let's start with step one. So I'm going to say if is summer is equivalent to true. And now I'm going to put a return statement here. So I'm just going to return for right now true, just so this runs. And then I'm going to put the return statement down here false. Now this isn't correct, but before we kind of write the correct Boolean expression here, let's make sure we understand that if I reach this return statement, we reach this statement, is summer is false. It must be false, and that's because we have a return statement inside this if statement, meaning that the function ends. Now hit go, and it doesn't work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to write our Boolean expression here. So if it's summer, the range that we can look at is we want to return true if the temp is greater than or equal to 60, and it's less than or equal to 100. So I'm going to say if temp is greater than or equal to 60, and temp is less than or equal to 100. And if it's not summer, we know that the range is 60 to 90 inclusive. So if temp is greater than or equal to 90, and temp is, sorry, not 90, temp is greater than or equal to 60, and temp is less than or equal to 90, pardon me. And I hit go, and there it is. Now we can tighten this up a little bit if we want. We can take this and we can get rid of these braces because there's a single line associated with this if statement. Hit go. Also, I can just make this if is summer because is summer is a boolean. We can just plug that right into our condition there. And if we really wanted to, we could take this and make it a one-liner. And since we're, you know, we only three minutes in, let's do that. So let's go to make sure this works. So let's take all of this. Let's copy it. I'll just comment this out. Slash star. Star slash. There we go. Again, this is a great little tip I got once from a student. Interestingly. Um, and what they have is they had they said always put a slash slash in front of your star slash because that means if you remove this slash star, that just becomes a comment. Nice little shortcut. I said interesting me, but really, I get lots of great suggestions all the time. All right, so let's just paste this in here. And so what we can do is this is a boolean statement. So I can actually just return. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do one return statement. So I'm going to return if is summer. And there's our temperature range, or is summer is equivalent to false. And, and we can shorten this to this is summer is equivalent to false can just be shortened to is not is summer. And let's see if this works. So I'm going to hit go. And there it is. So, you know, this is a good opportunity to talk about readability. The above solution, very readable. Below solution, not readable. I would really try and avoid these types of one-liners if you're ever working with someone. Because, again, what, what's really important is that when you're writing code, you're writing code that's easy to read. That said, it's kind of fun making one-liners. With that, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a wonderful day.